What's up, everyone? It's Dr. Glenbo. Man, I got probably probably as big as a – I'm a big Cowboys fan. He's probably just as a big <laughs> Eagles fan. But we got the SEO expert, Evan Lazarus. Evan, what's up, man? Hey, Glenn. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Man, I'm so happy to have you on because here's the deal, man. Uh, so for those who don't know who he is, I mean, he – look, I, I put in the comments that we're going to talk about the Google Maps and all this algorithm and stuff, but they do so much more than that. But – Today, we're going to focus on that and a few other SEO things, right, to help grow your dental practice. Because, Evan, you were telling me, right? I mean, if you're, when you're doing the little search, right, you type in dentist near me or pizza place near me. Mm -hmm. And if you're not in that top area in the map section, you said you might as well just be invisible. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the numbers don't lie. Uh, the numbers never lie. Um, any business person would, would tell you that two out of three searches today are local intent and Google has been designed or redesigned as, as it evolves as a platform to basically show you something that is re re relevant and close to where you are, whether it's uh, you're looking for a haircut or a dentist or a, a physical therapist, any search that you do that expresses local intent if you are not showing up in that three pack, which is the three businesses that are listed under the local map, you are missing out on a massive opportunity. Okay, uh, so Evan, first, yeah. first of all, before you go any further, yeah, explain that one more time. Because I remember when you first said it to me, I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? Explain, explain what the three pack is. Okay, so... Google, if you've ever run a Google search, and I'm guessing that anybody that's listening has, yeah. Google's basically broken up. The first page of Google is basically broken up into three sections. The top section, you'll sometimes see paid advertising. That's pay-per-click, Google AdWords. Those are businesses that are paying to be there. Mm -hmm. I'm sure a ton of pra uh, practice owners um, are running ads there to try to capture, to try to put their business or their website in front of potential searchers. Um, very effective in terms of advertising. Beneath that, uh, if you're running a local intent search, so if Google, if you type in dentist, yeah, just dentist, it's the same as saying dentist near me. Um, mm -hmm. Google's going to show you what it believes are three, sometimes four, highly relevant listings. Google my business listings underneath a map. The Google is designed to basically say where is the searcher. Mm -hmm. And where is the business and show you three relevant businesses based on whatever the keyword is. So if it's dentist, it's going to show you three practices somewhere around you. Mm -hmm. um, and then beneath that, the third part of the page is the traditional website ranking where it's going to list, you know, and now that's even, it's even less local websites that rank in Google. You'll see, uh, you'll see a lot of Yelp. You'll see a lot of directories. Yeah, yeah I noticed Groupon, that. You'll see it, it, it is really, you know, Google has really changed. I mean, to make as much money as they do, they serve the clients that have the deepest pockets uh, and spend the most. So you're going to see those big directories there. And you will see a sprinkling of a couple of local businesses. Um, again, it's all relative to the keyword that you're using in your search, but that's basically the, the, the most simple structure of, of what a Google search produces. May My, yeah, go ahead. And I would say, I mean, you, you were saying that too. I mean, to me, that's like super important. I mean, think about it, guys. For those who are watching, thanks for jumping on. Um, if you guys have any questions, type in the comments section, any of your questions. I am like watching this, the, the group right now. So if I see any of your questions, I'll, I'll give it to Evan. That's what Evan's here for to kind of talk about uh, the, the Google three pack, right? But Evan, I'm going to tell you, man, as, as someone who, who Googles a lot of things, right? Restaurants, mm -hmm. whatnot. A lot of times I look at that little map listing and I look at, I look at that map listing that I look at reviews and then I'm like, okay, this looks good. Then, then it stops. Right. I don't look at anything. I don't, I don't scroll down and keep clicking. You know, I don't do that stuff. And it's so funny is you're on Len Tao's uh, uh, podcast recently and he's really big on reviews. Right. Mm -hmm. And you were like, well, what's good. Well, it's nice that you got a bunch of reviews, but if no one sees it, what, how's that helping you out? And this is, why this is so important? Well, at the end of the day, it's not, it's not a complicated process. I think when, when people talk to me about SEO, especially dentists, you know, anybody that owns a practice, it's, it, 
the industry has been mired in sort of cloak and dagger. But it, when you break it down at its core, it's 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 be found, be visible, mm -hmm. and then create that perception. So reviews are extremely important. Um, they're important for a lot of reasons, but it, but mostly because if you are now ranking, essentially, if I'm looking for a dentist, go back to what I was talking about before, and Dentin Smiles, which is your practice, comes up in the three pack, uh, assuming I am in and around Dentin, the next thing I'm going to look at, because there's going to be other businesses listed, it's you and two of your competitors, is what's your reviews? You yeah. know, are you reputable? And that perception, <laughs> whether we like it or not, perception is reality. And so when I see a one practice that has, you know, 110 stars and 4.8 rating, and the next practice has 15 reviews and a 4.6 rating, it, it, again, it's statistics. The odds of the, of the click going to you versus your competitor are far superior. So it's part one, be found. Mm -hmm. Part two, be reputable. Um, and, and if you can do that and do that well, you are going to drive a lot more phone calls. You are going to drive a lot more clicks to your website. And then it's up to your website, you know, sort of that, the next stage of conversion. Now we've got the eyeball, we've got the click. What do we do to convert it to somebody that potentially could become a patient? It's not hard. I mean, it's really in theory, it's not hard to actually make that happen. It takes a boatload of work, but that's really at its core what I do. Yeah, and I think that's really important because here's the thing. I think we all understand that that's really valuable. Uh, we know we need to get up there, but you know, the thing is with Google and the algorithms and SEO and all this stuff, it's almost like one of those, it's one of those, Evan, it's one of those big mysteries, right? It's one of those mysteries, like everyone's got something to say and, and it's like, you're not even sure. And and uh, so anyways, that's the reason why we have you on here because you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna show how this thing is done and how you help practice like my, like my practice and lens practice, how we, we benefited from working with you with our, our Google map listing. So dude, let's just dive right in, man. Let's do it. I, 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 before we jump into it, let me just tell you one thing real quick. I, I try to make this process as easy to understand as, as possible, right? You're not an SEO, Glenn. I'm yeah. not a dentist. I couldn't come into your operatory and do implants. Yeah. You, you're not going to be able to, you know, do what I do. But at the end of the day, you can explain it to me. If I'm sitting in your chair, you can explain to me what it is you're going to do to me mm -hmm. in a way that I'm going to understand. And you're going to make me feel comfortable about taking that next step and, you know, doing the, you know, the procedure. It's really the same thing. As much as we get bogged down in, you know, Google's complicated and the algorithm and the fancy words and all the, you know, all the lingo, there's, there's three elements that you really need to, to understand in local SEO. Because if you're a local business, if you're a local dentist and you want to practice, or you even own 25 practices, let's say you're a multi-unit owner, it's three things that you need to, you need to understand. Relevance, which is essentially, does your business listing match what Google thinks the user's looking for, mm -hmm. right? Is your business, if somebody's looking for a dentist, are you a dentist? Two, distance, how far are you from the actual searcher? And three, prominence, which is the most complicated of the variables. It's three things, relevance, distance, prominence. Prominence is how well established is your brand? How well established does Google think your brand is? So for example, a landmark hotel, uh, a world-renowned art gallery, um, a famous four-star restaurant, they all would have prominence both offline and online. Mm -hmm. Essentially, we create the prominence for your business. So when we talk about ranking, that's how Google thinks you're important. You rank higher because you are more prominent. So that's really what we focus on. And if anybody comes to you and talks about local SEO and they don't talk about those three things, it's all, it's BS. Yeah. It's, it's just BS. Yeah. Um, they're the only three things that matter. They're the only three things, elements that I focus on. So let me explain. Um, and the only way for me to do this is to share my screen. Yeah. So uh, there's I'm, a little button down yep, there. Yep. Click it and Got it. roll. Let and me guys, know if you can see my For screen. those who are watching right now, like I said, uh, type in the uh, comments section if you have any questions here and I'll, I'll uh, hey, wait a minute. Hey, what is this? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So let's start with a, a simple <laughs> image. This grid 
is essentially your business. You, your yeah. practice is the center dot. Okay. And every dot is a half a mile of distance apart. So we're basically going three miles in any direction from your practice, Glenn. Okay. Now, what we do is when we talk about the three pack, we really have to talk about, we, I mentioned the word is distance. Where is the searcher relative to where the business is? So if I live way down here in the bottom right corner and I click on this number two, essentially what I'm going to see in my three pack is vanilla family, Denton, Mint. Those are the three businesses that rank one, two, and three based on that actual latitude and longitude. So when I look at your three pack ranking, I'm not just looking at where your practice is. If I stood in your lobby and I typed in the word dentist, chances are Denton Smiles is going to pop right up on my screen. Mm -hmm. But if I am three miles away, okay, I'm still potentially your patient. I'm close enough that there's relevance, but I also need to know that everybody in this area and Google is so unbelievably powerful that what it shows somebody a mile to the West may be completely different than what it shows somebody a mile to the East of the practice. Okay. So without understanding this basic concept, and you can see that this is all based on a keyword search. So this is best dentist near me, very common keyword mm -hmm. search. If I, if I pull up another one, here's dentist office. Again, these are all searches that we've run. Now, so what you can see is you have this big green map. You have the ideal scenario because I've worked on it. <laughs> Same, <laughs> shameless plug. But I want to show you um, what it looked like before. Again, it's just a simple before yeah. and after. And I'm going to bring this in. So I took a couple of snapshots. Now, we've only been doing this for two months. Yeah, two so months. it's not easy to up and change your visibility and your ranking all in 60 days. So we took these baseline sn snapshots roughly in the end of August, the beginning of September. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So dentist office. Um, can you see this? Oh yeah. I remember that one. <laughs> right. So, but listen, this is great where you started in yeah. terms of your visibility again, within a half a mile of your practice, you were already in the three pack. Yeah. Eight out of 10 doctors are not. The vast majority of people I work with, it does not look good, right? It looks more like dental. So this is dental implants. This is, if somebody was looking for dental implants, which is obviously a part of your practice, yeah. and I know, you know, for a lot of doctors, a, a large part of the revenue, this is important. Somebody's looking for in implants. It's an indirect search. They're not saying to Google, Denton Smiles, implants. They're mm -hmm. saying, show me somebody. They're asking a question. It's called an indirect search. Show me somebody that does this thing, this keyword, uh, dental implants. So now if we flip back um, and we go back to what I was looking at before and we look at dental implants, you're going to see that there's been improvement. Yeah. So it's not radical. It's not all green number ones, meaning you're not ranking in the three pack, but it is far better Oh, yeah, where you started. were. And, right? and really, I mean, this is, we've been working literally like a month and a half. We, we started November, uh, excuse me, September 18th. So like, you know, almost a couple of months, but I mean, yeah, I see the improvement, but the dentist keyword, um, I was already doing kind of good and now it's like way better. Yeah. I mean, if you go into your Google, my business listing, um, and if you don't listen, if you are a, if you were sitting and listening to this and you don't have a Google, my business listing, that's verified, you're, you're, you're already, you're way behind the eight ball. Right. Most people, you know, today do already have it. Um, but you had some, some of your keyword structure were very, very good. Now, the thing that I would say is there's no, everybody asked me the same question. How fast can you do this? How fast can you get? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? I, I, um, even I asked you that question. Right. And there, I, there is no magic bullet. Yeah. It, we have to look at the keywords that matter for your business. Again, the keywords are mostly services. What services do you provide? Invisalign, implants, mm -hmm. you know, general dentistry, cosmetic dentistry. These are some of the keywords that we'll look for. Again, it's all relative to your, you know, to your practice and what you do, but the worse you rank. So we're going to use this dental implants, right? Where you were basically... You weren't in the three pack, even at your practice, 
And then literally a mile away in any direction, you just basically fell off. Yeah. And, we'll, and I'll show you a little bit more of this. This is going to take longer. There's a lot more work that needs to be done in terms of building your brand and your prominence for that keyword set. So if somebody's looking for implants and over time, again, these, they change. The reds become sort of browns, the browns become yellow. It's all color coded until eventually we start to see some green dots pop. I'm in. almost at the three pack, man, right? almost so you, you'll, there. You'll be there. This, this is again, little by little by little by little. And the thing that I think it's important to note is that the three pack, going back to just basic statistics, the three pack commands 40%, up to 50% of all search clicks. Yeah. So if somebody Kevin, uh, we have a bunch of people jumping on. So if guys, for those yeah. who are jumping on right now, I mean, you're just now jumping on. You just got off of work. You just finished dinner. We're talking about the Google three pack. And what that means is, whenever you search for a business, whether it's dentist, whether it's a pizza place, wherever, there's a listing on the Google Maps. What you see first, the top three is what we want. Is the three pack right there? Okay. And so we're looking at my listing before I started working with Evan. Okay. And just, just full disclosure, I work with Evan here and we're doing this kind of sponsored uh, uh, Facebook live here, but he's showing where I started and where we are today. And it's been like, what, a couple months, maybe been almost less a couple than, of months, less than two months, less than two months. And, and, and what Evan was saying, and I'll, Evan, I'll let you say this, mm -hmm. uh, what's going on in my practice and in my area it might be different from other people. It might be easier for them to get up there. It might take a little bit longer. Let's say if they're in New York City, right? It might take a lot longer. Okay, it, it would, depending on what borough you're in or whatnot. Yeah, of course. But even, isn't that true? I mean, it's not a. Of course, this is there, there's there's a lot of factors at play here. Sure. One of the factors is what is your what is what does your market look like? Your market meaning how densely populated is your area? How much competition is in your area? So if we were to say, Glenn, how many general dentists, how many general dentistry practice are within five miles of you, there might be, and I, and I would, I could look at it, but for sake of time and, you know, you could argue there's probably 20 practices mm -hmm. yeah. in and around Denton, right? So that's a, that is, that's a populated market. We talk about Manhattan, right? Within 10 square blocks in New York city, you might have a hundred dentists. Yeah. I mean, it's that densely populated. So the ability to outrank those competitors, how valuable is that, is that real estate? Here's actually, I would say my proudest accomplishment to date, and I'll pull it into the screen. This is an oral surgeon that I started working with about a year and a half. This, uh, this, this result is the actual keyword is, is oral surgeon. So he's an oral surgeon. He's on a 126th street. Oh my um, gosh. This has been a year and a half in the making. So, yes. I mean, obviously, I mean, he's in, like, he's smack dab right there in Manhattan. Yep. He's uh, right here. East side oral surgery. Wow. Okay. So, I would love, if you have it, I'd like mm -hmm. to see where he started at. Well, I don't because we started 18 months ago, and this technology that I'm showing you, I didn't even have. Wow. So, uh, I, I wish I... I I could, but I, I can't, I can do but, it. But for he didn't you. have a, he didn't have a nice green box. I mean, I would love no. this green box here. No, no, no. But you, well, you, you, to some extent you have it. Um, there were a couple of keywords that you ranked very, very strongly for the thing that I, but listen, at the end of the day, I can take, uh, even if I showed you Glenn a map and it looked like this for your practice, all yeah. ones, all twos, right? You're in the three pack more or less everywhere. Somebody, within your local business would be at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter unless it results in engagement. Right. So I, you know, as much as I show the maps because the maps, people get the map, right? They get yeah. this concept. The truth of it is what matters is, well, what does it yield? And, and the important part of this is, are the results. So what I do is I can, I actually tried to pull it. Let me see if I have it here. Uh, da, 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 Pennsylvania Center. Is this you? Yeah, this is you. So, and guys, if you have any questions, by the way, while Evan's getting that all set up, if you have any questions for Evan, type in the comment section um, the question. I'll read it out to him. But 
Uh, Evan, we already have some comments already. I mean, we have some people that they're typing, they're watching this right now. And, and we already have someone who says, what's the nifty deal? Well, guys, <laughs> if you want a nifty deal, type in the comment section. Huh, I wish you, I definitely don't want to put, want you to type Eagles. I don't even want to hear that word right now. Uh, how about simple impact? Type in the comments section, simple impact or Cowboys. Uh, and maybe we can talk about fifty deal. Evan, I just had to, man. But anyways, I, I don't want to go birds. Um, <laughs> All right. So what do we got here, Evan? Okay. So here's here's real data, right? This is what I love to show, Dennis, because it's 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 actually what matters the most. So what we can do is because these actions are all about your Google My Business listing, and 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 again, if you don't know what that is, your Google My Business listing is this. This is your Google My Business listing. Mm -hmm. This nice. This is called the Knowledge Panel, but this is what the listing essentially is. So when we look at the results, I can basically. So I ran a quick report before we started, and I said, "Show me what his numbers look like, October 9th to November 9th." So basically, the last 30 days compared to the 30 days before that, September 9th to October 9th, and in that time period, you got your phone calls went up by nine percent. So what that means is, and that's all through your Google My Business. So if we were looking at this listing on our mobile phone, there would be a phone button. We've all seen it, right? It's a, it's a, it's a button that allows you to call the, the business right from your mobile phone. There's a button that says website. That essentially means clicks to your website. So when we look at, at, at it'll show us the, the actual clicks to your website. But what I really think is the most valuable is this. It's called indirect queries. And what indirect queries means it's the number of times the listing was shown for us in a search. So example, restaurant near me, dentist near me, your indirect queries were up 17% from basically the first month to the second month. That just means your listing is being seen a lot more. Nice. That's really what it means. <laughs> and ultimately that results in more clicks to your websites, you know, more clicks, to your website, more phone calls, more actions. That's really what we want to see. Your listings on Google Maps went up 27%. So the driving directions went up. These are the things that tell me that the work we do is actually translating into real data that, that actually should matter for a business owner. Whether you're a dentist or, or you're on a different, it doesn't really matter. We want more phone calls. We want more, we want more visibility. We want more our listings showing up as much as possible. So as much as I like the maps and this is really cool to show, if it doesn't translate into actual actions taken by your potential customers, it's just a, it's just a cool looking map. So Evan, I want to, I want to kind of build on that. Mm -hmm. So let's say if someone has a lot of green on that map, right? That mm -hmm. heat map, that everyone's all excited, but the numbers don't translate. What are some of the reasons why that's happening? Is it because their Google, my business page is not optimized or why would that happen for someone? So there's a whole lot of reasons. Um, if is there a website suck or what, no, like what, no. what are all those things? That well, there's lots of reasons. I mean, at the end of the day, if you continue to optimize your Google, your Google listing, mm -hmm. um, and it's not something that, that is finite, meaning we don't start. And then once you get some ones, we stop. Yeah. It, it's, this is moving real estate and it's kind of like working out. Well, sort of right. If I stop working out for two months, all the work that I've put in essentially yeah. disappears. Right. And, um, then, and, then, and then you're back into like a bunch of red dots and now you got to work back again. Well, it doesn't, it's, it's not like an on off switch. It, you know, the idea is that I, I want to think, think about it more like a mushroom cloud. So yeah. this picture, I, I mentioned the word proximity or distance mm -hmm. at the end of the day if somebody is 15 miles away from your practice and they're looking for a dentist, it's going to be very hard for your listing to show up to that searcher. They're just too far away. And, and Google's built so that it's going to not show them. But ultimately we want to, it's like you start with a core and then you work out. So right. I'm going to stop sharing for one quick second you basically start really small. So we work on the area around your practice. We get that to rank. And then in a couple more months, it, the, the, the cloud starts to build out because you're building more prominence over time. Prominence in terms of your brand and your business doesn't just happen 
like that. It takes time to build prominence. So when I showed you that oral surgeon in Manhattan, that took me, uh, we're, we're close to two years. I mean, somewhere between yeah. 18 months and 24 months. That took me that long to get it to look like that. Now, once it's there, obviously the dentist is thrilled, but he wants to keep that ranking. Sure, yeah. So now we will go, we, we go into more of a maintenance mode and we're doing posts and content and, you know, off page branding and a whole series of things that we do to, to keep the real estate because it's a moving target. And the second you stop working on it, you can lose that real estate. You don't yeah. own it. You didn't buy it. Google controls who they show and to who they show it to. Yeah. So yeah. we want to make sure that that prominence and that relevance is something we always continue to, to, to build upon. Absolutely. And we have a bunch of people that's just now joining us right now, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, type in the comment section. We have one question. I'm going to get to your question, doc. Don't worry. I'm going to get to it. And if you like what you're hearing, you want a nifty thrifty deal, type in the comments section, simple impact. Okay. Or Cowboys, if you want. I don't keep on messing with them. But, you know, going back you're to look, crazy, we're going to use man. Evan and I, we, we're, we're football fans, <laughs> right? He's a, he's a, he's an Eagles fan, a Cowboys fan. I know. I see that. I was hoping that you would turn your camera somewhere else. We don't want to hear it. See about the Eagles Super Bowl. But look, it sounds like you're saying like you have to start in the court and build out, right? So uh -huh. using a football analogy, it's kind of like you got to win your division, right? The goal is to win your division, then get out of the first round, which man, it's been a while since the Cowboys got out of the first round. Then you build on there, right? So you got to dominate your area and then you kind of start moving out there. Is that kind of a good analogy? Yeah, I mean, if you can always throw a good sports analogy into just about anything. <laughs> um, but yes, you have to start – Again, it's, if we were to take somebody in the, in the, in the live event and, and, and they were to put the name of their practice in, I could run a scan. You know what? We're a general Should dentist, we do that? And you can, we can see for ourselves what, what, can what you it do looks it like. Do it like live, like, like literally right now if you wanted yeah, to? Yeah, it takes about 15, 20 seconds to, to, oh, wow. to build, but yeah. Okay, whoever is watching right now and you want us to really do that kind of uh, map right now, Type the name of your practice into the comments. The first one that does that, um, I will. Oh no! And the guy that said "goes go Patriots," dude, you're already disqualified. I'm sorry. <laughs> I saw that you were disqualified. Uh, so I'm just joking. You can't type in the comment section your practice name, and Evan's going to do it right now. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Okay, Evan, we got some uh, questions here. Can I give you mm -hmm. some questions? Please. Okay. Uh, this doctor is asking if you purchase uh, like an AdWords, does that increase SEO ranking? Nope. If you use AdWords? Nope. No, it does not. And why is that? You're, you're, you're basically just it's paid advertising. It has nothing paid to do with, it has nothing to do with the relevance or the prominence of your business. And the second you stop paying Google, those ads disappear and you have, you, you have, you have nothing. Okay. Um, the, the, the best, the best scenario, if we if we really want to, if I could take the question and actually spin it a negative to a positive sure. is in, a, in, in my visibility strategy, a practice should be running some paid advertising. You want to have that link at the top. Again, just think visibility. I want to mm -hmm. have a link at the top of the page. If somebody's looking for a dentist, boom, there's my link, whether they click on it or not, different story, paid search gets about 15% of all search clicks. Okay. Then I want to be in the three pack. Boom. I'm ranking one, two, or three for that same keyword search below the map. I have a ton of reviews. Everything looks good. And then below that, I want to have my practice, my website actually listed. So the algorithm that runs the maps is different than the algorithm that Google uses for the website. Okay. So in a perfect world, you're doing SEO to your site. You're doing all the optimization to your listing and you're running some campaign and that is great visibility because if somebody looks for a dentist, you could potentially have three links on that first page of Google. It's just math exponentially your odds of capturing that click and the perception. If somebody goes through the whole page and they see Denton smiles at the top, Denton mm -hmm. smiles in the middle and Denton smiles in uh, uh, the, the bottom third wow, this looks like a really reputable practice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, no, it's, not, so, it's not rocket science. So Evan, I got, a, there's a, we got the first three people who typed in, uh, and guys, I, 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 we'll try to accommodate here, okay? But uh, Evan's like game, he was like, okay, I'll do it. So Evan, do you just need the name of the practice? Because I put it in our chat here. 
Uh, and then uh, there's yeah, one I'm doctor gonna... who, who she's see. an overachiever. She put her actual URL there too. Yeah. So uh, um, let's see. It's uh, right on the chat there. I put, uh, right, I put it right here into our chat, our Zoom chat. Second. And let me see if I can. Yeah. Well, Evan's figuring that out. Guys, uh, like I said, what we're doing right now is that Evan just said, hey, look, if you have your practice and you want to know where you land on the heat map, uh, type in the comment section. So that's what we did. These doctors put that in there. And now he's going to do the, the little cool map thing to see where you rank. But if you like what you're hearing right now, type in the comment section, simple okay. impact. Okay. If you like it, you want a nifty deal, type in the comment section, simple impact. And um, let's see what, what Evan can come up with. Is that the, those names work there or? Yeah. Yeah. Work? Let me share my screen so we can. Okay. All right. So we're going to share the screen again. Let me so click off this chat it. so it's not sticking up everywhere. All right, let's see. Can you see that map? Okay, yep. nothing's it, it, it's populating. So here's the uh, here's the search we're running, Dr. Heather Foray. Go on. Oh, okay. Go. This is the keyword dentist, which is basically like dentist near me. So when we look at this, right? Th there's not a whole lot of three pack happening here. Okay. So um, Heather, Dr. Heather, we're doing yours right now. If you're still watching. Um, and like I said, the whole point is, is we want to know where you are and then maybe see an opportunity, right? See an opportunity to help get your practice more visibility. Right. So I heard that you're doing really well where you're at, but imagine if you can get more on the three pack. So Evan, explain what we're looking at here for Dr. Heather's office. Okay. So basically what we're looking at is if somebody, searches for a dentist. Again, the key word here, just dentist, which is the same thing as dentist near me. Um, and they are, let's say, right up here on the top left part of this map where the number 10 is. Mm -hmm. Basically what they're going to see in the three pack is that this business is ranking number 10. They're not in the three pack. So when the Google search page comes up, that person's gonna see these three businesses, Stagecoach, Children's Dental, Tomble Smiles and Happy Sapiens Dental. Those are the three businesses that will rank in the three pack. The rest of that will be, you, you'd click more places and, and you can see and it would rest. take you into Google Maps. So, and I can, you know, if we, if we uh, just real quick, just for sake of, if I, if I bring you back up, Glenn, and we look at Denton, um, right? I track all of your, all of your keywords. So when we look at, let's say, let's find dentist, right? So there's a couple things I can show you here. Can you see this time-lapse? Mm -hmm. See this map? Yeah. So on September 24th, this is what your map looked like for the word dentist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I can go back and it basically captures this image over time. And we can see as the change starts to occur, right? So now we get to the end of October. Yeah. Just really ramped up. Right. And w because Google runs the algorithm whenever it wants. So right. it's not like I can say on this day, but over time, and again, this is a little unique because it doesn't quite happen usually this fast, but I can time-lapse this and show you actually, you know, and it does change. It will continue to fluctuate every week, um, day in and day out. But what I wanted to show you was I can also show you what that looks like in Google maps. So I click here. Right. And there you are. Denton smiles, dentistry. Number nice. one. Right. So we're tracking it in multiple ways. Um, so I, I wanted to kind of give people yeah. a little yeah. bit of perspective. And for those who are, are, who are jumping on right now um, and, and wondering what are we talking about? We're talking about the Google three pack and that is, you know, when is. you, when you do a search, thing. yeah. When you do a search for dentists or not, and it's that three pack is that listing on the maps you want to get in the top three and that's what we're, that's what we're doing right now. So um, let's show Heather's again. And like I said, Dr. Heather, she's watching now. She says, I'm watching, I'm loving, loving learning. And yeah, you know, it's, it's all about learning and knowing where you are. And so that's where Dr. Heather is right now. And uh, you know what, Evan, what would you say about this? I mean, you know, she's got, she's in the three pack. Right. <laughs> I think this is great. I, I think, I think that this is a fantastic place to start. And as much as everybody wants to see a map with a lot of green dots, I get it. We have to live in reality. There's a reason that you rank the way you rank. Um, this to me, because we see a lot of fours and fives and sixes and sevens, 
I would say within a six month window, a lot of that'll be three pack. And yeah. then as you get further away, again, it's like a mushroom cloud, the further out we go. So these red dots where it says 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus you basically have no rank. That's going to take longer because that searcher is farther away. This person is three miles away from your practice. So I'm sure, again, I don't know where we are on the map. I didn't take enough time to study the, I actually have no idea where we are on the map, <laughs> um, but I'd have to look at the this market. Is, this more is outside of Houston. Outside okay. of Houston. So I'd have to look at the market more specifically. We look at the competition. You know, I want to know how many general dentists there are, but if we're basically outside of Houston or near Houston, we're in a major, we're close to a major metropolitan city. There, there's, there's a boatload of dentists. Yeah. So it's a competitive space, but I see opportunity here for win. It's but as a, but as a uh, you know, right really that are really tough. And as a, as an online marketer, someone who works with practices and whatnot, when you see a heat map like this, mm -hmm. how do you feel as far as potential opportunity, future opportunities? Oh, it's great. This, you know, it, there's potential. The potential is, is that you're going to get it. You're going to get an increase in your visibility. Mm -hmm. You're going to get an increase in your visibility. It's going to result in more clicks to your website. It's going to result in being seen more and it will yield more phone calls. Um, you know, there are other pieces to this. So when I put together a package for, a, a, um, you know, somebody that I partner with, because I, again, I, I didn't come from big agency. I mm -hmm. came from Wall Street. Yeah. Um, my view on big agency is not, you know, I just have my own view on it. I look at this as a partnership. My goal is to try to help you grow your business. And sometimes that means we focus our efforts on map. Sometimes it means we focus our efforts on your map and, and SEO, uh, you know, on your website. Sometimes it means I build you a new website, but I really need to do a full custom audit to determine what sure. makes the most sense to get you more, you know, more patience. That's the, that's the point too. And that's, that's so amazing. Cause when we first started talking, Evan, uh, I, I gave you the, the same spiel that most dentists do, right? Like, okay, I want to get in the map. I want to get a bunch of patients, right? Mm -hmm. And then you asked me, you're like, well, Dr. Vo, you know, when a patient comes in and they, they want to make their smile look nicer and, you know, they want one thing, what do you say? And I'm like, well, I, I got to do an exam. I got to see what's going on, right? And you were like, yeah, that's how I work. I, I didn't know what's going on, right? And And that's what we did. And so... Uh, we were talking about the the three pack because I really told Evan I was like man I love that's actually how he started with me he started explaining that but it got even deeper than that right so this is why we're doing this because we want to talk about three pack but there's so much more that uh, I'll have to pry Evan away from his football uh, that's why we're doing it that's why we're doing it this on a Tuesday guys because I said hey let's do it on Thursday I do this on Tuesdays and Thursdays and he was like no there's Thursday night football. I was like, how about Sunday? Now I was joking. But anyways, we're doing this and we'll definitely bring them back because there's so much more than just this. But Evan, I'm going to ask you this. Can you do this? And this is because this is a doctor. It's a friend of mine. And I'm actually might be speaking at his study club. And, and hey, Dr. Lamb, just, just want to throw out there. I mean, he's up in Philly. You're in North Carolina. Uh, not too far of a flight. Maybe, maybe he can come there and speak at the study club too. Um, can, you, can you do a do the map for his office. He's oral and facial surgery of Carolina. He's an oral surgeon. Oral, that's the name of the practice? Yeah, let me let me put it in the, yeah, it's there in the facial chat. Oral of facial. Carolina. And then I could, uh, I'll put in the comments too. Mm. Carolina's oral and facial surgery, is that it? And then I just put in the, hold on, let me see. I put in the chat, the name of the doctor. All Maybe right, that might help. Yeah. Okay. He's okay. got a lot of good reviews. That's good. That's a good start. All good right. start, Dr. Lamb. So I'm going to show you this real time, what I do. Okay, so basically what I do Yeah, is, there he is. Yeah, I go Dr. To Lamb, if you're watching... You're, you're, it's showtime for you, my friend. Okay, so let's do this. So I basically go and I, I go right to the actual Google Maps and I take the URL and I just copy the URL. This is your Google Maps URL. I then go and I input that URL here and it drops, it'll automatically build a map grid for me. Yeah. 
and then I'll put in the keyword. So let's just say oral surgeon, mm -hmm. right? And then it's going to basically ping every latitude and longitude and produce, it's going to pull that three pack result at each actual geographic dot. Um, and I can change the distance I go out. I generally like to look at three miles for a dentist. I think yeah. three miles is a sweet spot. Again, it's relative to different markets. If there's not a lot of competition in your market, let's say you're one of two oral surgeons within 10 miles, you know, we can go out further. Mm -hmm. um, but for the vast majority, right? So here we go. There you go. Nice. Right. So he's got within three miles, he's got some pretty good visibility. If we were to go out and let's say this is each dot is two miles apart. Two miles. So we're going out about 12 miles here. Right. You can kind of, again, just to kind of give you, I'm just trying to give you a sense of, of, of how this works and, and, and what you look like. Um, and that'll, that'll pull in, in a couple seconds. And then, so I capture these reports and we can, you know, we, we can show progress over time, but the progress, like I said, the progress I really like to show isn't, Hey, you got more green dots because green dots don't pay bills. Right. So you can see if we go out a little bit further, as you get about six to eight miles out, you know, and you get into, you know, more of that Charlotte area, yeah, yeah. you know, you can see how that falls off. So you can kind of get a sense of what your local SEO really looks like. Um, and here, you know, with like, Dr. Lamb here, I mean, obviously with oral surgeons, you get referrals from far. I mean, it's, it's not like a general dentist where, yeah, there's a dentist on a block. I mean, oral surgeons, I mean, you get a lot of referrals and there's a huge opportunity there for Dr. Lamb. And, and definitely when, when I come out there to speak at a study club, Hey, Dr. Lamb, you're watching. You might want to have Evan come out and speak to him too. Okay. How awesome would this be? Right. But that's pretty neat, man. That's pretty neat. Now the thing is, is that we were just talking and, and, and everyone gets excited. Like I got excited about the Google Maps because literally when I'm looking for a pizza place, or whatever, I'm different, different city. I'm looking for a pizza place for my kids. I look at the map. Okay, that's what I do. But there's so much more than that. So talk to me real quick about the audit. Normally, like when someone wants to work with you and mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're all into this map thing, but you, you do a deep dive. So what are the, some of the things that you look at when you're doing the audit? So I'll do... <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll pull up an audit if you want to see it. Um, but I'll basically look at a whole slew of factors. I'll look at what your website looks like, uh, today, uh, in terms of SEO and visibility. I'll look at whether or not you're doing any paid AdWords. I look at your competitors. So I'll pull, you know, two or three competitors. I'll see what they're ranking for. Um, obviously I run the map scans to show you what your, your local, you know, three pack ranking looks like. Um, and I do it with a whole slew of keywords. So it's not like I'm just going to say, okay, you're a dentist. Let's use the word dentist. We're going to drill down and look at actual services. That includes Invisalign, you know, implants, wh whatever it may be. Whatever you want to um, do in your practice. Because at the end of the day, uh, a success is, someone was telling me, um, they don't want just new patients. They want new patients that they want to take care of, right? Maybe correct. they want to do more implants. And you're getting a bunch of little kids coming in just for cleaning, you know? C correct. So we want to make sure that we're, you know, we're ranking for the things that we need to rank for. Um, the last thing I do, and I think probably, but I think the most important, um, but everybody loves the maps uh, because nobody really is, a, nobody, I shouldn't say nobody. There's very few people out there that have really figured out how to build prominence. There are people that say they can do local SEO, Yeah. but you know, we've got a whole process that we put in place for how do we create that prominence for your brand mm -hmm. so that these numbers change. It's not black hat. It's not voodoo. It's completely white hat um, above the board. And, you know, at a separate, when I actually sit down and, and, and speak with each potential, you know, partner, I show them exactly what we do month one, what we do month two. There's press releases that we produce. There's, there's a whole slew of content that goes out. Um, it's not just, oh, we put up a blog post. You know, we actually don't do any of that kind of stuff. Um, because it really doesn't yield the results that we need that to, to, to yield. Um, and I'll break down their business for them. But the, the last thing that I do is, is website conversion optimization. Mm -hmm. So I know a lot of dentists that spend a lot of money and there are really some really talented web vendors that you, yeah. I know you've, you know, promoted, um, to the group. Um, but, but at the end of the day, the goal of a website, it's a billboard. Um, yeah. people don't 
come and spend hours on a dental website. They don't. As much as we like to stroke our egos, uh, we want to have the fanciest. Well, coolest. you don't think that they they read all the blog posts and they no, they, they click don't. on all the services. They don't. <laughs> they, they just they don't. And I have data, tons of it that'll that'll back it up. I'm not saying it doesn't have value. Don't 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 misconstrue. The, the when people put together websites and they want crazy video yeah. and all these customs, it looks great and it sets the perception of hey, this is a really nice place. And perception is very, very important. Um, but it's, does your website convert those eyeballs into customers? Yeah. So that, that's think, the name of the game. I think Dr. Tao, as an example, does a really nice job. Um, I'll, I'll kind of put him out there. And, and, and speaking of Dr. Tao, he just typed in, What's up, guys? <laughs> he does, I didn't even know. I can't see who typed yeah, it. I know. I was just asking. He was like, what's but up? But he, he's got some good conversion mechanisms oh, yeah. on his website. He's got his local med. He's got his chat bot. He's got his ability to send text. He wants engagement. That, to me, is the most important thing. When I look at a website, okay, it looks great. I get it. It's cool looking. But show me how how many patients you're actually pulling from it. Is yeah. it working for you 24 hours a day? So when I'm in bed, listen, I have three little kids. When I'm in bed at 10 o'clock at night, I turn to my wife and I say, I got to get Alex. I got to get Alex to the dentist because yeah. he's got to get braces. That's when that thought occurs to me. So I need to take action in that moment. If you're not open at 10 o'clock at night, which practices are not in a physical sense, they need to be working for them virtually. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's where that local med comes in, man. Correct. And I, I'm a big proponent. I don't work for local med. I don't work for bird eye. Uh, but I think there are some really nice softwares that, that are out there in the marketplace that I always recommend, you know, a dentist or whatever, you know, whatever they do implement so that their biz, their websites are actually working for them. They're not just, you know, stroking their ego in terms of how cool they look. So, so, so Evan, here's the thing, man. Um, there's a bunch of people that are already commenting. They're like, how do I contact this guy? But guys, I know I know you want to contact Evan. You want to talk to him. He's got some good info. You you want to get hooked up like me, right? And get get all the green dots on all that stuff. But before we even do that, guys, I need to see in the comments section simple impact because man, we got to talk about a nifty deal, okay? You got to show us some love here. Type in the comments section simple impact and uh when we, then we can talk about nifty deal. Then we can talk about how to contact them, but uh, Evan, we actually have a question here. Okay, no, I already saw that. Another, how do we contact Evan? You're gonna have to hold off on that. Simple impact, type in the comments section. Um, oh, Evan, what do you think about video SEO and how important that is? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's very important. I think that okay. video is, obviously as Google sort of evolves, video has become a big part of, of what it produces in terms of search results. Not only just video SEO, it's time-stamped video SEO. So what, so what they're does doing, that mean exactly? So what that really means is, let's say you have a question. Um, not only is Google going to produce a video, but let's say the video is 20 minutes long. Mm -hmm. It will timestamp where the part that you want to see actually is. Huh. So, so you can actually start a video because nobody, we, all, we have attention spans of, of, of ants. So nobody wants to sit and watch 27 minute videos. They just want to get to the thing that they want. I know. It's so, kind of like I was watching, I was watching first take and um, I'll, uh, Stephen A. Smith was ranting on and on. And I just kind of skipped past his rant to find out what he was ranting on. He was ranting about the Knicks. Kind of like why, that. Why would, right? anybody, why would anybody want to listen to that? <laughs> So and I, I lived, skipped it. Hey, and I, I lived mean, in I, New York for 22 years. So yeah, I'm, and then Stephen A was uh he was a columnist for Philly, right? He is. So I had to skip past his rant to say, okay, he's ranting about that. Okay, let me just keep going there. But yeah, so that that's what the time stamp means. So yeah, so when we talk about video SEO again, it's 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 evolving. I think it's really important to produce video. Um, video doesn't you don't need to have elaborate setups, you don't need to hire custom producers to come in and you can shoot it all on your iPhones and your droids and whatever gizmos you have. Um, I think, but you, you get out of it what you put in. If, sure. if you, if you listen, I'll use you as a great, you do this stuff to this group every day, every week, you know, you are doing, you, you are putting the work in. You got to do that with your practice, mm -hmm. even your digital endeavors. 
if you think that you can hire an agency and they're just going to do everything and fix everything and it's all, you, you still have, because you are the expert. People buy people. I come to Denton Smiles maybe because I like your pictures. I want to see a picture of you. You look like a good guy. You set the perception. That to me is very, very important. So it's important that the practitioners and the people that we are ultimately buying produce the content. Right. Be the expert. Don't hire actors. Just be real with people. And I think that if you're able to produce video, even on your phone, you know, um, to the extent you have a thought in your head, hey, I just did this really cool procedure. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to post it on my social channels. I'm going to I'm going to share it with my patients. We're going to send out a newsletter once a month. We're going to create a video. We're going to put it up on our page. That's how you that's how you you proliferate with video SEO. And then ultimately, as it evolves, you know, the more video you have, you have a treasure chest of content. You can then do a lot with it. Um, I love it. I love but it's it. an okay, endeavor Evan. unto itself. So here's the deal, Evan. I mean, yeah. I, uh, I challenge everyone to type in a bunch of simple impacts and they have a belize. So I'm not going to tag, I'm not going to drag this out guys. So look, I want to put the man on the spot. So Evan, you're in the nifty thrifty group. Yep. Um, I told you we we're going to do a Facebook live, but now I'm going to tell you, look, man, you got to come with a nifty thrifty deal. Okay. Uh, we know the value of this. And, uh, but the members are like, look, man, we, they want to get hooked up. So Evan, what can you do for the members of Nifty Thrifty Dennis for watching? They're still, they've been hanging around because they want to know what the deal is. <laughs> uh, Dr. Heather, who you just did that demo, she was like, I'm ready for the deal. Okay, Heather, we're, we're going to do it right now. So Evan, what can you do? All right. So two things. One, yes, I am in the Nifty Thrifty group. I've been in there <laughs> for about five weeks. And in that time, I've, I've, I've put very little content on the table. I haven't really engaged. I was waiting for, for, for sort of this to then, you know, as an introduction into the group. And then what I want to say before we get into the deal is, by all means, interact with me, ask me questions in the group. I'm happy to answer anything to the extent I can answer it. Um, and I'm generally pretty quick about responding, you know, within a few hours of, of when it comes my way. Um, so don't think that if this webinar ends, you know, the interaction, I, I, oh, well, I want to put I will be an active tag member him in the, the comments and, uh, and you guys just message him. Um, as far as the deals go. So let me explain kind of how I work again. Every, everybody I meet with, I will do a full audit. So I generally don't work in packages where it's like a, B or C, but for sake of, you know, what we're doing tonight, I put together some basic package, um, Again, it can change depending on the needs of the business. But the first one is for me to work and optimize your Google My Business listing, mm -hmm. which is essentially the maps ranking, getting you ranking in the three packs. So when you hear me say GMB, that's Google My Business. That's essentially what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so I charge $1,500 a month for that. Mm -hmm. That's my retail price. Um, I'm going to offer 30% off of that. Sweet. To your group. So it winds up being just a touch over a thousand bucks a month. Hey man, um, that, that's a bargain to get to that top three pack there. And as much as that might sound like a lot, if you saw the labor and the amount of work that goes into it, you'd say I'm probably undercharging. Um, in terms of the second offering, which is really the sweet spot, is it's to do the GMB optimization and do the SEO on your website because I mentioned the word prominence. Your yeah. website is your biggest form of prominence online. So to work in just GMB without working on your website, essentially you can do it. It never yields the same impact as if I work on both because now I really control your complete prominence online. I can do a lot more when I have the ability to rank your website as well. Um, I can show you real quick. It's kind of like wearing yes. a nice sports coat and then you're wearing shorts. So, and, and I'm, I'm a very transparent person. It's all performance with me. Um, but that deal is, I usually charge 3000 a month for complete SEO, complete local SEO. Yeah. 30% off. It winds up being 2100. Oh man, that's awesome. Because here's the deal, man. Um, SEO, remember we were just talking about that. SEO mm -hmm. is kind of like, it's like this big mystery, right? But the thing is, is the pricing is also an even bigger mystery than SEO because mm -hmm. 
what you just offered, that is a super nifty thrifty deal. And then there's people out there that charge 4,000, 6,000. I've heard up to 8,000. That, yes. that, 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 that's, that's a mystery as far as range, but this nifty deal, talk about what you just said there. It's the local SEO and that includes the map as well. Correct. What I want to show you with the SEO and I'll share my screen is, and I'm going to use, I, I launched a, a, a new platform uh, actually about two weeks ago. I'm going to use Len. I know Len's a pretty transparent guy. I've been doing hey, Len. Uh, we're using for, you, buddy. He's yeah. For, right now. <laughs> uh, this is my new platform. This is what it looks like. My, my par, all my partners have access to their, um, I've done about 40 keywords for Len. Mm -hmm. Um, these are the most recent 14 that we've put into my new dashboard. This is my client dash. And it basically shows you, okay, dentist, Northeast Philadelphia. That's the key word where we started. He was 37th when we started that was on October 28th. So that was 10 days ago, 14 days ago. He's now 12th. So he's just off of the first page um, in Google and that's in 12 days time. So he's jumped 25 spots mm -hmm. And if, if you don't know what that means, I can show you what that means, but that's basically everything under, um, everything under the map. So if I actually yeah. type in dentist, Northeast Philadelphia, right. What that's doing is it's ranking his website. So that's his website rank. So this would be one, two, three, so on and so forth till we get to 12. And that's where, that's where he would be. So it can actually show you the, you know, the increase, you know, it, it shows you the results. It shows you where you are and where you were. Ultimately, when you start to get below 10, you're on the first page of Google. And that's when you start to see traffic mm -hmm. jump because you're just, again, the, the SEO joke is the best place to bury a dead body is the second, <laughs> page, the second page of Google. So my goal, again, these are brand new keywords that we're working on for him. You know, my goal is to get these all in top 10. Um, and, and again, it takes a ton of time, but I wanted to show it to you because I feel like the transparency is, um, you know, a big part of, of what I do. You have to be able well, to see what, what I do and, and what it yields. Well, you know, uh, uh, Evan, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I've gotten other people on who uh, also promote SEO as well, but I'll tell you what, um, you explain it very easy to understand. <laughs> it's very easy to understand. You show all these things. It makes it makes sense to me. And it makes sense to a lot of our viewers there. So I appreciate that, Evan. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's the nifty deal, guys. We'll, 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 we'll talk about the nifty deal again. But I want to take this question because this is really important. And this doctor is asking, um, but what if our website is not working well for us? What do you say to that, Evan? Uh, they, they, well, they like what you're offering, but maybe their website's not she feels like it's not working for her. Well, it, it, listen, I'd have to, it's a vague question. So I, I don't, when you say working well, I'd have to say, I have to answer your question. What does that mean? Um, <laughs> does that mean it's not converting people? Does that mean it's not loading? Uh, you know, what does that mean? I need to know more about right. what exactly. But, but that's that why you have the audit. Right? right, I'll do the audit. And listen, sometimes, and, and a lot of times, um, I wind up building websites for people um, because I need to. So, yeah. uh, you know, it's a part of what we do. It's a part of our offering. Um, we're very good at it. I, I just rebuilt the University of Pennsylvania, you know, website. Yeah, I, I yeah. Have, you guys, have you skill, guys, you guys uh, type in the comments that you pin uh, dental website. It's actually pretty sweet. He, he told me about that. It's very yeah, my, impressive. My, my pen dentist.org. So we do good work. Um, but if I'm being honest, it's a pain in the butt to do websites but I do them because I have to do them. It's, it is the central hub of your digital prominence. And you know, and you have a client that wants to sign up and they want to, they want to get, you want to help them get the results. I mean, sometimes you have to do the website, like you said, because it just requires it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you don't have a website, you, you don't have a Google, my business listing, you're so far behind um, so the doc, that doc just, uh, she just elaborated a little bit. She says, I have a low Google ranking. So that's she would, what she feels. Right. So she would need to do SEO for her site. Um, and in the, the math. So, so the, the, the upper tier nifty deal that you just talked about. 
that would be the maps. That would be her Google My Business listing. For okay. her website, it would be the high, the, the more package B, the yes. Mercedes Benz packet. Right, know, right, right, to, right. Whatever you want to call it. That was your, that was your terminology. Yeah, that was my term there. I, I uh, took it from you. Now, now we have another, we actually have a, actually is a question slash comment. And this is coming from Dr. Lamb, who is a Pats fan. And he says, uh, can I get an extra discount since Tom Brady gave you that Super Bowl? You got a bunch of hecklers in this group, huh? Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, yeah, I, I'm assuming you're talking about the strip sack. Yeah, exactly. uh, when they were driving down, they did a strip sack and they sealed the game. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about, Doctor Lamb, right? I'm gonna give Doctor Lamb a Philly, uh, uh, the the Philly special. <laughs> the Philly special. <laughs> oh man, hey Doctor Lamb, if it makes you feel better, the 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 football gods gave it back to Philly in in uh, New Orleans with uh what's his face dropping uh, what tipping that ball and it gets intercepted oh alshon game? yeah alshon alshon dropped the ball and the ball got picked off oh, what, God. Yeah. i know i know and i thought it was going to be another the legend of nick Foles. Uh, yeah i mean the legend of nick Foles runs deep here <laughs> it's okay it's a, i mean it's we, anyways we, we don't want to <laughs> talk about what's going on with the cowboys but all right evan so Let's talk about the nifty deal again. Guys, thank you so much for, for jumping on. Uh, again, again, if you want, you want to hear about the nifty deal, listen up. We're going to talk about it right now. And we're mm -hmm. talking about, guys, for those who are just jumping on, you're definitely going to want to rewind and watch the beginning. But we're talking about the Google 3-pack. That's the, the listings on the Google map. It's really important to get in the top. On top of that, that is just one piece of the puzzle along with your local SEO and a good optimized website. But we're talking about a nifty deal now. So Evan, let's do the nifty deal again. Okay. So for the base maps uh, package, we have 30% off my retail, which brings the price to the nifty thrifty members to just over a thousand bucks a month, 1050. Sweet. And then for the Mercedes Benz, um, which is the maps plus your website, it's 2100 a month. It's 30%. Yeah, 2100. That, that 30, not 30, only, that's not just a regular Mercedes Benz package. That's an S class. Okay, guys, that's an <laughs> S class right there. But um, all right. So we're going to put all the details in the comments section. I want to ask Evan to put his contact information. Look, he's part of the group. We just added him. Uh, I've been working with Evan. And, and here's the thing for someone just messaged me. They're like, why didn't you tell me about this guy earlier? I'm just reading the message right now. Uh, because. I actually had to use him. I actually had to make sure. Yes, he came highly recommended by the bird eye guy himself, Dr. Leonard Tao. But I was like, look, Len, um, you've been writing books, man. Let me just vet this dude, <laughs> all right, and make sure he's in. And literally, he showed it. We just did a case of my practice. I'm super happy. I'm still working. And like I said, this is not something where it's like a one and done thing. It's a continual process. But um, well, what did, I, what did I tell you? If you remember, Glenn, what, I don't know if you remember what I told you when we first started talking. I said, I don't want you to promote something you can't stand behind. Yeah. Let me do the work for you. Yeah, exactly. You as I much as like you wanted to jump on right away, you're like, let's do this. And um, when I saw those improvements, I was like, dude, you got to come on now, man. Like that's, that's legit there. So um, Evan, thank you so much, man. For jumping on and and here's the thing we just touched just like a small part of what his firm does like we haven't even got into all the other good stuff yet i just wanted to do the maps because the maps thing's so cool you know so evan thank you so much for jumping on thank oh, you for pleasure. the nifty thrifty deal guys thank you for watching and evan before we jump off i want to give you the last words the last words before we jump off uh well thanks Glenn. i appreciate you having me um like I said, I work with everybody individually, so I'll, I'll respond to all your comments. You can always email me. It's evan at simpleimpactmedia.com. Um, and I will get to everybody. So, you know, that's, that's what I do. My, my, I guess my parting words, <laughs> for lack of a better term, would be, <laughs> you know, I'm a big believer in education. I, I, I find that my relationships with my, you know, the people that I partner with last the longest and have the most success because I go out of my way to make sure they understand to the extent, again, without getting mired in detail and, and, and in technicalities, what, what I'm trying to accomplish so that we can measure the results together. So I will take the time to educate you as to why you need to do certain things 
um, and why, you know, why it should work. So uh, much like you, if I were to sit in your chair in your practice, Glenn, you know, you're going to sit and talk to me about why I need to do what I need to do. You're going to get me to the point where I understand the work that you're going to provide and the services you're going to provide so that I'm comfortable with moving forward. And that's how you build relationships. Um, I do the same thing with SEO because I'd say 80% of the people I work with come from the, I've been burned by an agency. Yeah. It's overpromised, under deliver. They're just not, they're just sending them reports once a month via PDF. Nobody knows what they're looking at. It's just, you know, I've gone out of my way to try to build something that delivers again, results, but in a way that are really tangible. I don't want to just show you green dots. I want to show you <laughs> that it's yielding actual impact to your practice. And then we can, you know, sort of measure and track as time goes on with analytics and metrics and all sorts of stuff that we didn't even, you know, we didn't even tap into tonight. Yeah. Yeah. We'll definitely bring you on, but Evan, thank you so much. Guys, we'll check the comments section later. Evan's going to put the Nifty deal and the way to contact them. But thank you so much. Can I get so one much. of those t-shirts? What's that? Can I get one of those t-shirts? Oh, yeah, of course, man. That's this is from, awesome. This is courtesy. Yeah, man. Of course. Of course. That's courtesy of Dr. Nissa Holmes, actually. That's her thing. The best, the best, the best t-shirt ever, Dental Boss. Lo right love there. the t-shirt. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank thanks you, for Glenn. watching. Evan, thank you again. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for having me. Bye, guys.